rejected. Votes were rejected as unstamped votes. And we had 8,395 members of the discipline services voted. And therefore, their votes, for my conclusion, were counted. Now, Mr. Harmon today, May the 30th, issued a release that was carried on the MR waves. And by now, I think everybody would have read um, that. That, that release, a release that is riddled with lies and fallacious claims, a release that only serves the purpose to rile up the Guyanese public, a release that should be rejected not only by PPPC supporters, but also the APNU AFC supporters. Because it's a release, as I said, that is riddled with fallacious claims and riddled with lies. And if I'm to use two examples, he tried to look at irregularities in regions 7 and 8. And many of the statements he made pertaining to region 7 and 8 themselves are irregular in the sense that they're not true. They're lies. And I can use two examples. Where he claimed ballot box 7079 had 352 ballots were issued, but 377 ballots were found in the box. This is a lie. The statement of recount for ballot box 7079, which is Philippi Primary School shows clearly that we had 227 votes cast there, 223 were valid, and four were rejected. So here, Mr. Harmon is spreading false rumors of irregularities to raise the anxiety of the Guyanese people. Secondly, he claimed that Balabok 70, 7003 was the wrong list of electors were found in that box. However, the observation report for Balabok 7003 explains that box 7002 was brought out instead of 7003. And to quote from the observation report, they said, and I quote, resulted in the mix-up. That resulted in the mix-up. They brought out 7003 instead of 7002. And that resulted in the mix-up. And it was corrected. They also went on in the same report to claim that, and I quote, no other errors or no other error was found in this box. That is pertaining to box 7003. So here again, Mr. Harmon is spreading false rumors in a mischievous manner about irregularities to discredit the elections and the recount process. What is even worrisome is in that same release carried on the Murara waves. Mr. Harmon mentioned that the Commissioner of Police, who is also the Chief Immigration Officer, has confirmed that people who migrated voted on March the 2nd. Now this is troubling. Since our investigation, that is the PPPC investigation, has found scores of people currently in Guyana who were named by the coalition as having migrated. It appears that the APNU AFC is intent on baiting GCOM with these fallacious claims to delay the declaration of the elections after this recount. Perhaps they're acting for a few months and that's why they're trying to delay GCOM's declaration. 
But as you know, in the order that was communicated to the media yesterday, GCOM is committed to declaring the elections three days on or before three days after they finish the recount. The recount is slated to complete on the 13th of June and they have until the 16th of June to declare the results. So we don't know what game the APNU AFC is playing. Obviously, their acts are similar to what I will refer to as acts of desperation. This is the party that claimed victory, if you can recall, after the 2nd of March. By the, by the 5th of March, they claimed victory at this election. And their victory was premised on the declarations of one Claremont Mingo. And I refer to it as Mingo's mischief. The whole essence of us coming to a recount is to get into those boxes and to see what are the true counts to ensure the will of the people are respected. And I can tell you, and you've been following it to date, many of the Region 4 boxes, many of the Region 4 boxes, over 100 so far, have shown clearly where Mr. Mingo deflated votes that should have been given to the PPPC and inflated votes for the APNU AFC. And at the end of this process, at the end of this process, just as it is happening now, we will reach a final credible declaration that will show the votes on all the recount statements of recount and tabulations as being equal or similar to the statements of polls that are in the possession of the PPPC. Again, we're calling on the coalition to declare to the media the statements of poll that they have in their possession. Because what we're seeing is that the statements of polls that the PPPC have in their possession has now been equal to or one or two votes here and there very similar to what has been declared in all the regions that have finished counting so far and all the region four statements of recount so far. So here's a case where we have the coalition in its acts of desperation, is trying to change the narrative from one of them winning the elections based on Mingo's fictitious declaration for Region 4 to one of the elections riddled with irregularities. Perhaps to derail this whole process so they can remain a little long in office. But that will not happen because the PPPC is committed to free and fair elections in Guyana. The PPPC remains committed to the respect of the will of the people in Guyana. The PPPC remains committed to see this recon process to the end and the declaration of the results of this recon process. That is the final credible declaration of the recon process, which we know the declaration of which will clearly show to the Guyanese people a victory for the PVPC so that we can transition from what exists now to a democratic government to lead, to govern Guyana in the interest of all Guyanese. Thank you. And I will open to any questions. If there are no questions, have a good night.